We are following some developing news this morning after state legislator Liz Linehan was threatened online. It comes amid a heated debate on vaccinations during this measles outbreak that's spreading across the country. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Caitlin Nuclo is live at the Capitol this morning. Police are now investigating all this. Caitlin. Well, both Capitol Police and Cheshire Police are involved in this investigation. Linehan is pro-vaccine, and that's what this all stems from. That comment that was made on social media not only threatened her, but her children as well. Last night, one Twitter user wrote to Linehan threatening to enlighten you or your Satan spawn. It comes as the state is looking for more transparency when it comes to vaccination data. Tomorrow, immunization rates school by school will be available online. The Department of Health is releasing this information because of the current measles outbreak. The department says there are more than 700 cases in more than 20 states. Here in Connecticut, three people have tested positive in New Haven County. Liz Linehan represents Cheshire, Southington and Wallingford, and she is pro vaccine. Linehan, whose children are six, eight and 10, tells Eyewitness News she's encountered this Twitter user before, but was never threatened. The representative fired back on Facebook, confirming police are now involved, and she writes, threatening my children will get you a visit from the police. It will not deter me. It only strengthens my resolve. Now, the account that threat came from has since been deleted, but police are still trying to track that person down. As for vaccination rates here in our state, it's pretty high in Connecticut. It's about 96 percent, but you can still opt out for religious or medical reasons. Of course, we're going to keep following this for you and the debate, and we'll have much more on this story throughout the day here on the air and on the Channel 3 app. We're live in Hartford this morning. Caitlin Uclo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.